Welcome to the Intellect Tutorial 112. This tutorial will, sh will show you how to program an on-street master inside of the MaxTime software. All our controllers are combo units. They're both a local controller and a master controller. You simply go to any of our controllers and you program it to broadcast patterns and time sinks to the subordinate intersections. So I opened two max time controllers. These both have to be running on my laptop. I'm using the emulator. So I have two page tabs and I'm going to go down and I'm going to tag the first one. So this intersection is Washington and Jefferson and I'm going to change the agency to be the Washington uh, group master. So I'm going to call this Washington master and hit apply. So after I hit a, after I've tagged it, I want to go in and start the program. So I'm going to go into controller and go into master and section configuration, and we have 16 groups. Now the first thing I'm going to pick is mirror. Mirror is follow the leader. Whatever this controller does, the subordinate or local controllers all follow. I'm going to put a poll rate of five seconds in, field time of 15 seconds, and I'll just keep the default. I will tag this as the Washington Boulevard Master Group uh, because we do have 15 other groups. Now what I'm going to do is go to the local. Now on the master controller, the local program is under peer configuration. So typically you would type the IP address in here, but because it's the emulator, I put in local host and I put in the unique SNMP port. Uh, if you've got multiple controllers on your uh, laptop you need to have unique port channel numbers so I've got that in I simply put it into the first group first section and I type in the intersection name and I hit apply and I now have a two intersection closed loop master configured so we look at the status on the master the master is running time of day pattern three and now we'll go to the local, and notice the local is running system control. So whatever the master does, the local does. So right now he's under system control, and he's running pattern three. So I go back to the master, and I'm going to look at my master status. So I go down to master, and I'll look at my sections. So I got one section. It's outputting pattern three. The mode is three. Wait. And I look at my locals. I got one local responding, and he. So now in the master, I'm going to go and change the control. I'm going to go to coordination, and I'm going to select manual pattern one, hit apply. And then I go out to my status screen, and I look to see if manual pattern one is in effect. And it is, and it's transitioning, so I'll let that get into step. So we go down, and we look at our sections, and our outputting pattern one under mirror. And our subordinate has responded, and he's in pattern one. And of course, we need to look at the subordinate. He's still under system control of pattern one. So this is the follow the leader. Whatever master does, everybody in the group does the same thing. Now, if I wanted to add more intersections to this group, I simply go to peer. It's the only page I need to go to program. And if this was a real intersection on the street, I would put the real IP address in. I would simply slide over and put it in the group. So just IP, the group, and the name. I'm going to call this one Washington and Wilson. So there's only three data entries. I hit apply, and now I have a three intersection closed loop set up. Now, if I was doing serial, and we've got serial communication, FSK, radio, serial, other types of serial communication. You need to put what serial port to talk out of on the controller. So I'll put port 1 in. Then I put the drop address of the serial port in the local drop address, and I'll show you where to program that. Put it in the master group, and you type the name. So if it's serial, it's port, address, master section, and name. So you got four data entry points. You have three with a real IP network. This would give us for intersection closed loop system. Now I need to configure the serial port on the master to talk out of. So I'll go to administration and I go to communications and I go to serial settings. So I wanted port 1 to be my master port so I drop it down, select master and hit apply. So now those 
messages are going out to the local intersection 22 through this port. Now if we want to configure the local to receive the message, we go to the local, we go to administration, we go to serial settings, and if we wanted it to receive on, on port 2, which is the RQ1, we make it NTCIP, and we put the drop address in. We double check it, we go back to the master, go to peer uh, configuration, and our local drop address is 22, and in the local is 22. They have to match. The port is, that's all there really is to setting up a master and, and locals. You can do more groups. We could get into signatures in another tutorial. But of course, you know, two are not responding because they're not hooked up. The last point I'd like to make out is to show you what the start.bat file is if you want to set up multiple emulator controllers to do uh, master slave testing and operation. So I can edit the start.bat on the local. And the important thing is the IP port 163. That has to be unique for each of your locals because you're putting it in the SNMP column. It only affects if you're doing it in emulation mode. So if we go to the master and we look at its start.bat, uh, this one's 162, so they're different. Uh, you can use these as templates if you want to edit your start.bat. You just make multiple copies of the folder and. Uh, Thank you for watching this tutorial with me. Uh, we will have other on-street master tutorials regarding the traffic responsive uh, action of a closed loop master and setting up sections and detectors and all that good stuff. But uh, to do a time of day master, this is all it takes. You just set up one controller and have it broadcast patterns to everybody else. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Bye.